In part one, I explained what this research study is setting out to achieve. So let's now take a look at the results. So let's start out by looking at the out of sample walk forward equity curves that were produced for two of the tests. The first, represented by the red line you see here, is the equity curve for the standard optimizations walk forward. So this is a single stage. And the black equity curve above is for a four stage walk forward analysis. So in terms of the standard optimization, we can see that this performed quite well initially, but then began to tail off. Whereas the walk forward analysis produced a much more stable equity curve. And the reason for this is that it is able to adapt to those changing market conditions. Now, the reason that these two equity curves don't start off at the same value is because we're only looking at the period of time that is common to both of these models. And because the single stage optimization walk forward was over a period of 2.5 years, that's the period of time that we have to compare. The cumulative walk forward for the four stage walk forward analysis was actually much longer. And so by the time it got to this point, it had already reached this level of equity, even though it did originally start at the same value. And so this has been truncated in order to compare like with like. But just to get a better visualization of that, we can actually normalize these values to the starting point. And when we do that, we get these two curves here. Now you can see that I've also calculated the R squared values so that we can compare the smoothness of these curves. So with this small amount of data, it certainly looks like walk forward analysis in this case has performed much better than the standard optimization. But as I said in the introduction, I've also performed walk forward analysis using eight stages, 12 stages, 20 and 30. So let's now take a look at those results. Again, these are all for the same period of time, which is the two and a half years of the single stage walk forward process. And again, each of these curves is starting at different values because remember that by the time they reach this point at the start of the single stage walk forward, they've already been running for some time. Now, in a moment, we will look at an extended period of time for each of these. But before we do that, it's worthwhile just comparing the normalized version of that so that we can see these side by side with the same starting value. So again, the red equity curve here represents the single stage, the black line and the blue line, which are actually over each other because they use the same values for this part of the process are for the four stage and eight stage. The orange curve is 12 stages, green is 20 and gray is 30. Now, what we're interested in here is not where they end up in terms of equity, but the smoothness of the curve. And that of course can be measured with the R squared value. And so at the table at the top here, I've got a summary of those R squared values for each of the number of stages. So on the left hand side here, we can see the single stage, then we've got the 4, 8, 12, 20 and 30. And it looks from this as though the 20 and 30 are just beginning to fall off. So what's very clear from this is that regardless of the number of stages, the walk forward analysis process is much more effective than the single stage process that we see here. And so what we can now do is disregard this value and concentrate purely on the walk forward analysis results, because by doing this, we can compare them over a longer period of time, longer than just the 2.5 years that we're restricted to when we include the single stage in our results. And I've got those results right here. And so now, because the shortest of these walk forward periods is five years, we have a much more statistically significant comparison of them. And so again, normalizing them to the same start value, these are the results that we get. And again, plotting those R square values, we get this chart here. 
And so it is very clear that as you get up to 30 stages, the performance is beginning to fall off. So based on what I explained in the first part, let's try to map these results onto the theory. So if we start with the value here for four stages, and because this is a relatively low number of stages, it means that the in-sample statistical significance is quite good, which means that the predictive power will also be good, but the ability to adapt to market conditions is not good. And that is probably the reason this performs poorly compared to some of these other stages. Now, if we turn our attention to the 30 stage WFA, the opposite is the case. Here, because we've got so many stages, the statistical significance is the issue. We simply don't have enough trades in each of those optimization phases for it to make a reliable prediction. Random chance is playing too big a part. But the adaptability to market conditions is very good. But here, it's that poor statistical significance that's outweighing any benefit we're getting from adaptability. And so for the best results, we have to look at somewhere in the middle. And if you remember from that seesaw diagram, this is where we're getting a good balance of both statistical significance and adaptability. And so it's these values that are giving us our best results. And based on the curve of best fit that we have here, it looks like we're getting that with 12 stages in our walk forward analysis. So I hope you found that as interesting as I did. And it looks as though the hypothesis that I put forward as part of the planning the research, whereby it's a balance of both good statistical significance and adaptability that will produce the best results, looks based on this trading system to be the case. And as I said before, I do plan to undertake this same process with other trading systems in the future. And when I do, I will put together another video that will present that back and hopefully it will come up with the same conclusions. Now, as I've said before, DarwinX relies on recommendations from our customers. And one way you can do that for us is if you've got value from today's video, then please do share a link to this video on social media or any trading based forums that you take part in. Also, please remember to give me a thumbs up and until next time, trade safe.